Get out of here. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. I show it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. Last week, I forgot to turn on the sound on the microphone. It didn't work. We made taco potatoes. Tacos out of potatoes. Was not that great. Spoilers. Anyway, we just got back from Vegas. All of my body hurts. I just want something super easy and super delicious. Because you are what you eat. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. So keto and paleo people, what up? You'll like this. I found these avocado fries, but the first pair of avocado pair, I don't know why I decided there's two fries, but the first recipe for avocado fries I found used breadcrumbs, and I've been on this like, not keto or paleo, but very, very close. This diet to get rid of candida in my stomach. Is that too sexy? Do you have a boner? Put it away. We're making some avocado fries, but instead of breadcrumbs, we're using coconut. I don't know if this is gonna work. I hope it does. The dish, the, the tick, sh the tits are great. Where am I? I saw a lot of tits in Vegas, no lie. I saw so many tits. I'm kind of desensitized to tits right now. That's not what I was trying to say. The pictures look good, is what I was trying to say. Cool. Now that we're all thinking about tits and candida, let's make this tits. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Get real nice and hot. Ow, 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 ow. You know, things aren't as fun here as they are in Vegas, but I'm trying. Next, we're gonna get a, this, and we're gonna put parchment paper on. Make that paper. It's a party in here. You can't stop it. Get out of here. Next, we're gonna take a tablespoon and a half of either ground chia seeds or ground flax seed. I'm doing flax because it's already ground and I don't feel like grinding anything. Except for someone's body. <laughs> Probably my husband's because monogamy. Woo! It's a party! Also to our bowl, four tablespoons of water. Nice and wet. <laughs> when did Tasty Tuesday get so sexual? Two tablespoons of, oh excuse me, two tablespoons of lime juice. <laughs> so many tits, I swear. <gasps> oh my god. Too much party. It was about one lime's worth of lime juice. And three splashes of Tabasco. It's getting hot tonight. <laughs> Vegas changed me. Now we're just gonna mix it up. Get the party moving. What a fantastic party it is in here. Oh, ow! Okay, now we're just gonna set it aside. Set it aside, don't even need you. Goodbye, thanks for playing. There's no room in here. Guess I'll move my chia seed pudding. It's actually pretty good. I don't know why I made that face. You're delightful. Okay. Next, we're gonna take a medium sized bowl. Yeah, you're pretty medium. And inside this bowl, we're gonna take a cup of unsweetened flaky coconut. I've had this in my freezer for probably like eight months, and I always forget it's there. But now it gets to play with us. Oh my god, hey, join the party. One cup, two tablespoons of flour. I found this coconut flour in my pantry. Neither of the recipes suggested coconut flour, which worries me. Um, they suggest regular flour or arrowroot flour. I have arrowroot flour, but I just feel like we're already using coconut. Am I, is that stupid? Is this stupid? Am I stupid? Tell me how you really feel. Oh, and it's never been opened. Why do I have this? Hmm. That's interesting. I've never used coconut flour before. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoke show. Everybody's hot in here. Teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Give it to me. A half teaspoon sea salt and a half teaspoon chili powder. By the way, if you want to make this instead of the coconut using breadcrumbs, that's the way the original recipe is. So it might taste better. I don't. I don't know your. I don't know your life though. Just a disclaimer. Putting it out there. Then a pinch of what are black pepper. Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. No, come back. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, now it's kind of the tricky part. We're gonna take three to five avocados, depending on how large your party is. Mine is pretty large, so I'm gonna do three. And we're gonna cut them into like fry shapes, kind of. I mean, we're gonna cut them into slices. Like they do at Subway, except we are not gonna jip you. Does anyone still eat at Subway? I feel like that was like a 2000s fad. I'm not wrong. So to do this, we are going to cut our avocado into half. I don't know why I said it like that. Then, another half of a half. This will just make it easier to peel. Take it off, ow! And then we're just gonna cut slices. Probably getting about 10 slices per avocado. Once you have all your little avocado slices, I only did two avocados because I remembered that it's just me and Steve and I don't think we could eat more than one avocado each in a sitting 
in a socially acceptable manner at least. We got our little slices. We're gonna assemble somewhat of a dredging station over here. Oh, you didn't know it was called that? <clears throat> I learned from doing Tasty Tuesday. You should watch more. So we got our breadcrumb mixture, which is really coconut. We got our flaxseed mixture that was in the fridge. We're just gonna dip our avocado into the flaxseed mixture and then into the breadcrumb mixture and then assemble this on our baking pan that we have prepared. Are you ready for this jelly? If you said no, just remember, you're talking to a video. Flax coating, did it. Breadcrumb coating, great. How's your keto diet going, bro? Getting those ketones all in your, in your body. Getting those ketones up. Yeah, I know what's up. I can't record too much of this party. It's way too exciting. So I will see you when it's done. And to die, avocados. <laughs> now we're gonna bake our avocado fries in the oven for 15 to 16 minutes. Or until they're crispy golden brown. Got it? Hopefully they still get crispy golden brown with the modifications I used with the coconut flour. But if not, let this be a lesson. But if so, let that also be a lesson. Huh? So, see you in 15 minutes. Hello, welcome back, it's been 15 minutes. Time to see if our avocados have turned into avocado fries or bakes. We didn't fry them. We're good people. Let's see what happened in here. Oh my goodness. These are golden brown, yes! Oh, sorry. Oh girl, hopefully these taste as good as they look cause cause dang. All right, that was pretty easy. Don't forget to turn off your oven. Sometimes you do that. Here are avocado fries. They look good, they smell good. Let's see if they taste good. Let's get a beauty shot. Tits, 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 tits. Shit yeah. Okay, honey. Okay, what's this guy? We have avocado fries. Coconut, sorry, excuse me. Coconut crusted avocado fries. What the hell is that? Coconut encrusted motherfucking avocado fries. This is what I had to go to grocery store like four, four times for. Yeah, well, if you knew how to pick out ripe avocados, you would have only had to go once. Damn, damn, damn. All right, guys. <laughs> aye, aye, yeah. aye. All right. So. Maybe if you would film earlier, then the avocados would have been ripe by now. Thank you. That's that doesn't make Thank any. You. That doesn't make sense. Thank you. How's that? It doesn't look like you. Because well, you said French. You said fries, so I'm thinking French fry. Oh. I'm trying to qualify the taste now. Like fried avocados. Also, these were like borderline ripe, so. They taste like healthy french fries. They do? Yeah. Dang, like, if someone was like, if someone was like, hey, you want some coconut encrusted avocado fries? I would not think they were on a diet. Well, they're like slightly sweet. Oh, cause the coconut. Yeah, but they're good. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. They're Let me try it. I don't I know if it's tasty. It's I like, can't tell if you're lying or not. It tastes like it's, I'm on a diet. You know what I mean? It does taste like you're on a diet? Yeah, it does. Damn. Yeah. But it's good for um, what it is. I wanted to make the sauce that goes with it too, but I didn't realize you need cilantro. I didn't want to send you to the store again. Man, I really wanted to use a pun because I haven't used any puns at all, ba barely. Oh, barely? Yeah, I wanted to be like avocado, more like bravocado. I don't get it. But if it doesn't taste good, then... Yeah, you can't do it. Huh. Right? Okay. It's peculiar. It needs a dipping sauce. Yeah, I think so. I think they need some like tangy dipping sauce. Something complimentary. Yeah, something tangy. Also, these are these are definitely borderline ripe avocados. They're not like that buttery, smooth, creamy avocado that that I like. But yeah, it needs a sauce. Hold on, let me try a different one. Oh, nice, this'll help. It's from two different avocados. Oh, I see. I don't know how I feel about these either. Right? They're kind of, um. Like, do I want to sit there and eat all of them? No. Not really. But do I hate the taste? No. Exactly. It really just needs a sauce. I think so. I really think, let's see what I have. Hold on. I was really looking for this um, sweet garlic chili sauce. I have no idea what where that is. Uh, I don't think we have it anymore. Damn. You want to do the lockout from over there? All right, well, I don't know if it's tasty this Tasty Tuesday, but um, subscribe if you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next time. I like that.